What's going on? Welcome back. We are doing the Mengu Cube, which is the Andrea Mengucci Cube. Andrea and I have uh, very, very similar cubing preferences. We like the traditional, like, vintage cube base, but then we also like adding our own, like, personal touches with cards we like a lot. And you can kind of, uh, you can kind of see that in his cube, which is great. So it is a vintage cube, but it also has a lot of, like, fun touches which is perfect. It's everything I've ever wanted in a cube draft. Could just start with a preordain. Could get a scrub land. Also, these are in mine as well. I think these are significantly better lands than the fast lands. I think these uh, check lands are significantly better because there's so many ways to get basic types between all 10 duels and all 10 shocks. So I'm glad to see these in here. I think they're just significantly better lands. I'm gonna just start with the preordain here. I don't know which way we're gonna go. Got a Control Magic, Sylvan Library, Brasco Relic Seeker, Factor Fiction. These are all good. Rootbound Crag. Two for two in packs with good check lands in them. I like it. Probably just going to take Factor Fiction here. I mean, I, I, I could definitely see an argument for Sylvan Library and things, but like, I mean, Factor Fiction is just very good. And, and there's no reason to go into a second color here just yet. Champion of Wits. I do like Fiery Confluence a lot. I also think it's at its absolute best in the Vintage Cube where you can pick off either three artifacts, deal the opponent six. We're going to take Fiery Confluence here. Release the Gremlins. Interesting. Also, we are now, I think, three for four. I'm not sure if we might have missed one. But, um, the hand is like real low, real low cut here. Uh, I'm going to take the Baleful Strix, I think. Frantic Search is cute, but I don't feel like doing anything Frantic Search wants me to do. I think I'd rather just have a good old-fashioned Baleful Strix. Vampiric Tutor. Luteral Core. Hmm. <laughs> there was also Echo of Aeons, which is another... Um, another, like, draw seven. You know what I'm saying? I think we're just gonna take a looter here. Vampire Tutor is great, but I don't know if I'm gonna be black or if I'm gonna be red. So I do like a Choops. Bolus's Citadel is cute. Also, I believe this cube has 10 talismans and 10 signets. I think it has 22 mana rocks, which seems like a lot to me, but. Oh, hold on. I kind of just like Glorybringer here. I think it's kind of like a Chupacabra, but as far as value goes, it's just better. Immortal Sun, I like. I also like Manic Vandal. Diabolic Servitude is actually a card I just recently considered putting in my own cube. So, that's interesting. Manic Vandal is also great. I'm going to take the Immortal Sun because we have no Planeswalkers yet. And I think that's probably just fine. I kind of like, I kind of like Shriekmaw here or, or Necromancy, which works with Looter. We're still not entirely 100%. I'm going to take Necromancy here. Damnation or Worm Coil Engine? I like Worm Coil Engine a lot. I'm going to take a Worm Boy. Oh, DeGrabs, thank you for the, thank you for the follow, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> well, we could actually take. Uh, I, guess, yeah, I, guess. I think we're just taking Dark Ritual here with Immortal Sun and Warm Coil. I think Dark Ritual is actually pretty decent. I'm going to sideboard these buddies for now. Yeah, I don't like an Imperial Seal. I'll probably just take. Let's take Caves of Coilos in case we end up splashing white here and being an Esper deck. Oh, Kalidus is interesting. You know what? I'll take a progenitus. I'll ruin someone's 
natural order dream. Oh, the tubes came back. Oh man, never punished. Oh, Mana Crypt, but also Oko. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, what up, Greasy Cleric? Um, <sighs> really, really, really solid Mana Acceleration versus one of the best Planeswalkers ever printed. I don't know. I don't know. It does feel like Oko. Yeah, I'm going to take the Oko. That was terrible. The feeling, not the pick. The feeling was terrible. So Verdant Catacomb is nice because it does get us our stray green. So it's an extra source of green. So playing one forest gives us two green sources. Pluto Delta does not do that. I think because of that, I'm going to go with the, the Catacomb. And if we get like an Underground Sea, we can get it with both anyway. So we're not going to be... We're going to need more green sources than blue sources because blue is going to be one of our main colors. We're going to take out Verdant. And then you get an Overgrown too. And that's pretty good. Yep, just take an Overgrown here. Channel? Also Ashiok. I mean, Channel, we both have, we have Immortal Sun and Worm Coil so far. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What is happening? It's got to be Channel, right? Like, it's just too high. I'm going to take Channel. The upside is too high, I think. Yeah, someone's definitely getting a sweet Mana Crypt, but... Watery Grave, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're taking Watery Grave for sure. We can get it with Catacombs. That's nice. I like a Talisman of Dominance. I might like it better than Thoughtseize here because it does let us go turn two into turn like being able to fix both blue and black here is nice. It's on color. I think I'm taking that. I'm not sure if you can hear that. It was real loud. If we want to splash a red for anything, we can take Badlands. I don't think we're Llanowar Elfing here. I also don't think we're Dog Moths willing. Oh, Eater of Butts. Thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, let me just take Pack Rat. Yeah, we'll just take Pack Rat. Pack Rat wins games, you know. Woodfall Primus, what can we do with you? We can discard you to both Pack Rat and Looter to necromancy you back. I don't think I care about Urborg. I'm gonna just take the Woodfall Primus just in case. Ooh, a blue green land. These are also in my cube. And there's another talisman on color as well. Yeah, I feel like the mana is already significantly better in this cube than it is in the vintage cube. So just change it, wizards. Like, you don't need fast lands. And you have two really great land cycles that you're just not including in your cube. And it's super weird. I th think I'm going to take the, this land. I, I think I'd rather have this than another... Um, another Another talisman. Bitter Blossom is fine. Not exciting, but fine. Cosima, I feel the same way about. I don't want to take a double green. I guess we already have channel, right? So maybe blue is our light splash. Maybe we're black, green, splashing blue for like some good cards. I could see that. In that case, I would take a Questing Beast. Take a Doomfall. Oh, actually with Bitter Blossom and Pack, eh, I guess we're probably not Pack Riding, but you know what? These are really good late picks. I mean, I could see Skull Clamp here. 
Immortal Sun. Are we still keeping Immortal Sun with Oko? I guess it really depends on how many more Planeswalkers we get. Uh, it's probably just Misty Rainforest here. <laughs> Him to Torox, nice. But Misty is a tri land, and it's two of our three fetch lands, which is pretty sweet. And we already passed Delta, so we know we're not seeing a Delta. And plus, we have already we already have Overgrown Tomb and Watery Grave to get with Misty, so I'm down to clown till I'm dead in the ground. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely passing Tropical Island for Leovold. I love a Tropical Island, but but Leovold. Yeah, Leovold. Hinterland Harbor? See, this is what I mean. These lands are great. Time Vault. Oh, man. What cube is this? Uh, I'm going to take Hinterland Harbor here. It's just a great land. Plus, we have 18 playables. We need five playables. We can also put Woodfall Primus in if we're maining green. Jerry! Hello, Uncle Leo! Hello, Uncle Leo. See, this is nice. We have an Ugin and an Ulamog and another Ugin. What is Archon of Amiria? Three mana for a 2 3. Each player has only one spell and that makes lands. That's not bad. Excuse me. Um. I think we take the Ugin and hope either one of these colorless cards comes back, or even go for the throat, because we already have channel, so. Green Sun can only get Leovold and Questing Beast, so not great. Maelstrom Pulse, however, that's a solid removal spell that we do not have a ton of right now. Our third on color talisman. Interesting. Duplicant. Also, maybe we cut the Immortal Sun. Also, Animate Dead. What are our discard sources right now? Looter, Pack Rat, Factor Fiction gets to discard. Hmm. I kind of like Animate Dead here. Sun is good with channel, I agree. We only have two Planeswalkers. Yeah, I'm going to take the Animate Dead, I think. Edric's still, still hanging out in here. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to take Acidic Slime. I think Acidic Slime is great. Eater of Butts with the resub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. A gifted sub and a personal sub. I do like opposition a lot, but double blue we're trying to avoid. So I'm going to take this guy. We can also put in Woodfall Primus. Also, Land of Waste? Sure. Our mana base is looking great. This is 23, and I'm okay with it so far. Him to Torok came back, because of course it did. Is it blue-black? Yeah, that seems good. Someone like you. Oh, what up, Neon Tokyo? Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, except it's Butt Eater instead. <laughs> oh, good times. Ooh, big, big fat Voren clicks. I don't think we're shallow graving here. I don't really care about survival either. I'll take a boring clicks. Oh, Liliana's nice. Huh. Well, none of the cards I wanted came back. I will hate a Splinter Twin, so someone else can't get rewarded. Gush, sure. Okay, so we need two cuts here. Hmm. You know what, I'll take Emrakul. What the hell? It could be good with channel. 
It's also reanimatable. I think Skull Clamp is probably too cute. I think I don't even think I care about Bitter Blossom that much. I do like Liliana. We can discard either things we can't cast or cards we want to reanimate. We have Necromancy and Animate Dead now. Hmm. I think we can cut Immortal Sun. Like we also like now we have three Planeswalkers, and I feel like it's just too awkward. Thoughts on the Arena Cube? I don't have any because they've had better MTGO cubes since then. Yeah, like whenever the Arena Cube's up, if there's just a better, like, more more varied uh, MTGO Cube, I'm just going to play the MTGO Cube. But to be fair, I did like some of the more recent Arena Cubes. But I just can't defend it. I just can't, like, the card pool on Arena... I can't justify playing a cube on arena with, with the, with the limited small card pool when a cube like this is up where I get to play with like Emrakul the promised end or Leovold or him to Torak and channel. Like I just can't justify it. You know, it just, just doesn't make sense for me. I think this is the deck. Can't do anything with progenitus, unfortunately, but that's okay. All of these lands are very good. Sort by color. We have five, six blue cards, and they're all single blue, which is great. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue. We'll see if that's good. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Black, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine, eight. That's really good. Sold. It's only going to be awkward when these three islands come into play because we have double black and double blue needs on turn two. But I like having Emrakul, Worm Coil Engine, and Ugin for, uh, for potential channel. <coughs> we could also go Dark Ritual, turn one Talisman, tap the Talisman for black and play him to Torok. That's kind of cool. I've been floating around in the moon and all I see. Um, okay. I mean, Looter helps us out. We have two four drops, which is fine. Yeah, sure. I just assume we're going to draw a black source. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, man, in case we draw channel now, I really messed up. Watch, we're going to top deck channel. I'm going to feel real stupid. I don't know. I lit on a blue because I'm like, oh, we're going to play a blue card first. So clearly that's fine. But it was not fine. And we're going to draw channel. And I'm going to feel like a friggin' dum dum. And then we're not going to play our turn two Ugin. We're going to play a turn three Ugin instead. And then we're going to hope that's good enough. Okay. Well, I feel better now. Oh, I see. It's going to be like that, huh? Oh, traded one one mana producing artifact for another. Oh boy, what is happening right now? Dirty Scrap Savant, got it. Let's attack in case we draw channel. Because that'd be cool. Ready? Oh, I like it. I'm actually tempted to discard Acidic Slime and Necromancy that. Is that better than an... Yeah, that's got to be better. I 
I mean, Emrakul's great and all, but next turn they get to untap with four mana. They get to play a Duretti, get back Lotus, play something else, where this actually kind of gives them a hard time. If we just kill the Chromatic Lantern, their mana colors are extremely worse. Trying Magnesium for Restless Legs, eh? This is less... This is less flashy, but I think it's more consistent. Because mm. next time we already have Questing Beast, and then we already have Factor Fiction after that, so... And I just missed a land drop here. <laughs> and they couldn't actually even try to draw with Library because they had eight cards instead of seven, so... Oh, I guess we're not going to play Questing Beast here. I wanted to see what we drew first before we started using our mana. Because if we hit, like, Animate Dead... Yeah, we're just going to Questing Beast. Or we're just going to have Factor Fiction here and we can Questing Beast next turn. Because yeah, we're gonna, recommended higher on Google than cut off your legs. That's good. I, I feel like my solution sort of should be a last resort. So I'm glad that you're uh, taking different approaches, you know. Well, that's cute. Their deck is very interesting. You know that I could use somebody in turn fact. Someone like you. Oh, this is a hand, all right. This is a this is a configuration right here. Just stopping by to thank you for the mana crypt mass. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. I took an Oko, so. Hi from Brooklyn. Frank, I've been watching you for some time on YouTube. Finally came on Twitch. Love watching you play and you keep me entertained during my tours at work as a fire, uh, fire department in New York. Firefighter, keep up the awesome content. I hope it... Dude, that's awesome, man. History, way to go, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. And thanks for keeping New York safe. I actually, the last time I was in New York, I actually went to the Brooklyn Strategist with a couple of my friends and we drafted my cube. Man, next time I'm in New York, I should definitely get a hold of you whenever there's a... What are they, why are they so afraid of Liliana here? Because I can't get rid of this, right? So I'm just going to choose the pile with infinite cards in it, right? That seems better. This is three sources. We can probably put a fourth, make this nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, not there yet. Okay. 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 Um, hmm. The problem with the problem with Leovold and I wanted to go Leovold Questing Beast. One, two, three, four, five. But what the problem is we need green, 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 and we only have two green. That was an odd split. I agree with you. Hmm. I think we can go preordain first and see what happens. Put a sorcery in the yard. Because I'm pretty sure next turn we're going to be casting Emrakul. Oh, I kind of like Maelstrom Pulse, Ma Maelstrom Pulse on this. Bottom, top. So we can go triple blue, or triple, triple black. So one, two, three. Green, and then blue, green. Yeah, let's do that. This... And to kill this. Like not being able to get Lotus back out of their graveyard is, is, is pretty strong. And kind of where we want to be. And now we have Sorcery, Instant, Planeswalker, Land. If we discard a creature... Yeah, I was just making sure we couldn't cast Ugin this turn because that would have also been good. No, we can't, we can cast we can't cast Ugin next turn because we already used Dark Ritual, but that's okay. Ooh, Animate Dead. <sighs> Let's pitch Worm Coil here. Yeah, I'm not super scared about that. All right, um, so now we have actually a lot. One. Land, Planeswalker, Instant, Sorcery, Artifact. 
creature. We have six. This costs seven. One, two, three, four, four. We can actually, now we can. No, we can't. One, two, three, four, five. We're one shy, but I mean, we're, it's all right. We won the game. So <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, we didn't see any planes. We saw Duretti, but like, I think, I think shutting off our planeswalkers is worse than shutting off the one planeswalker. Thomas, what did you say? I wasn't sure. I'm glad I was wrong. What does that mean? What are you responding to? Thomas is like saying things into his into his own head, and then he's like, "I'm gonna respond to those things in in, in the real world." When I thought you left, oh, <laughs> Thomas messaged me, and he was like, "Hey, did you just leave your stream up? And are you trolling? Is your is you being online this late just to troll because you forgot to turn off the stream?" So if I forgot to turn off the stream, I wouldn't have the countdown screen up because I don't go to that. Um, when you start OBS, it does it. It starts on your last scene which would be like the magic online scene for me. Um, This hand seems great. We will keep this. I don't think we have a blue green land though. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay, we got a blue there. So now I can just get like overgrown tomb. I mean, now it's unfortunate because you have to draw a second green source and a big fatty, but channel's still good. I guess we're getting overgrown tomb here. I can, yeah, you could like as you can see the tropical island would be very very good. It gives us a, a blue source and a second green source. So, um, let's just play island here. So next time we can play Oko. It seems good. I'm no expert, but oh okay, Oracle of Moldia. They play a creature, we're gonna play Lilian instead. And that's gonna be fun. Azorius Signet into Talisman. Sure. Okay, well, that's good. It's all, it's all happening right now. Sure. That was a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight mana now. Well, I'll be. I kind of just want a Liliana. It takes the pressure off here. Could love a second green source. Yeah, they draw a card, but I mean, they lose one mana from the Talarian Academy as well. So what are you going to do? All right. You know that I could use somebody. <sighs> Okie dokie. Yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? Hmm. Well, with love. I would love another green source here. I might actually take one island out for one forest. That seems correct. Let's get a green. All right. I mean, if they shoot this guy, which they probably will, we can... Get in there with Questing Beast, presumably. Harmonize. Things are happening. 
I mean, the deck looks a lot better this go around for sure. What are we hoping for here? Our own Ulamog or our own Ugin? Hmm. I don't think so. Probably not that. I mean, they're obviously going to block the side. It's totally fine. Just play this guy, I guess. I mean, if they're going to lightning bolt something, I mean, they still have six cards in hand. It's not going great. Yep, that's what we assumed they would do. They could also have negative forward, which gets rid of Questing Beast and Necromancy and Psy. They have a lot of mana. Okay. Mountain's gone, island's in the hand. They didn't do anything. Six line. Island's in the hand. That is what we are. Run away with me. God, really? It's frustrating. So just to be clear, Acidic Slime does not kill Ugin. Is that right? Sure. In response. Uh, all right. I don't know why, but... Do what you got to do, I guess. <sighs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. So you only have Black Lotus in there. Okie dokie. Not sure how we win other than them decking themselves with 12 cards in their library. They don't have a way to sack that or anything, do they? Sack two artifacts for two mana. No, you don't have two mana, you have one mana, which is interesting. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess we're just killing Ugin here. <laughs> 
That seems like the safest bet. Ugin Oak. I'm putting both on top. Put on top. Put on top. Oh, what up, Shua? That's old Big Shua. Maelstrom Pulse is a hell of a card. Sure, they have one card in hand. Not super impressive. Hmm. It's definitely a trade, I guess. So now we get Leovold, which turns off their Doretti. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure, what did they use to get that back? Oh, Emery, sure, that's fine. So one, two, three, green, green, green. Blue, black, green, you boy. Attack your face, because then we get to hit the ready as well. We do take three in the air and we can block three on the ground. So we take four here if they don't have anything oh can we just steal one of their things hmm change their artifact or creature you control so we can trade the food for something else do 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 oh man tricky tricky or three or less. I mean, it's any of them. If we take this, then we go block, block. We take four still. I almost think it's just better to make it up to make our to make our food an elk. Either way, we're taking like one attacker. We're we're dealing with one attacker if we do that. But one of the ways Oko dies, and another way. Okay, so that's actually good for us because they didn't try to draw any cards off of like Psy. And they have a ton of mana to do so. I'm gonna like one here, but Oko making a food is not nothing. Are we doing the strict save and early access thing? I don't think so. Okay. Solid top deck. I guess I'm hoping we draw either Emrakul or Warm Coil. Actually, Chupacabra's not the worst, because <laughs> now they get something. Which is probably going to be Emrakul or Warm Coil. And then we get to Chup it. Chooping Warm Coil, however, is not the best. But then we can draw Animate Dead, I guess. Man, Bribery was a good hit. Solid top deck.
and then an audible brass. Oh, on the bright side, Woodfall Primus comes back to us, though. So that's a thing, unfortunately. What? <laughs> well, that was cool, I guess. Yep. Yeah, we needed the life from Oko. That was unfortunate. Yep. Bribery killing Oko is probably the best thing you could have gotten there. Now we'll just hit a land. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I stand corrected. Huh. Okay, we take their turn. They get a turn back, though. So we do get to slam their guys into my guys. Oh, wow, this is actually... This could be the end. This is insane. That was an insane draw. Like, we get to sack all of their things to their sigh. We get to strip mine their own land. <laughs> That's... Sure, put that on the stack. You got it. Oh, wow, this is going to be amazing. Wow, we are in a real good position here, surprisingly. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. So. They also have six cards. We can just deck them. They're just dead, right? Uh, all their lands make blue right now. Blue. Oh, no, they can't draw because of Leovold. Uh, we're just going to sack their guys anyway. Sure. Um, so we're going to go one, two, sack this and this one, two, sack this and this, uh, <laughs> discard up to two cards, strip mine. Your own land here. Three, four. Block three, three on this guy. Four, four on one, four. Three, three here and here. Wow, this is the best Emrakul I've ever seen. Your turn. <laughs> oh, wow. We literally got rid of their entire board. Wow. Oh, holy shit. Stop! He's already dead. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, trust me. Attacking in with Leovold does not make a big difference. Man, that was amazing. If this game was a butt, I would eat it. Um, yeah, okay. Sometimes when you when you play matches, like I always use for my YouTube thumbnails, I always use one of the cards that was like impactful during the match. Um, and so this one will probably be be Emrakul the Promised End. A card which I'm not even that big of a fan of comically. Like that's actually pretty funny wow that was the best emrakul ever holy smokes man okay we're halfway there living on a prayer 
Take my hand, make it, I swear. Oh man, our opponent's 2-0. Shit, we're probably dead. Ugin. Liliana, okay. So next turn we can either go Talisman or Packrat. Packrat sets us up to discard reanimate. So is Liliana though, so. Oh, I like that guy. Let's just play Packrat because, yeah, see, that's fine. Now they waste the rand. We can actually just go Leovold next turn. Maybe it's not a waste. Who knows? Who knows what they're doing over here? Mono counter spells over here? Yeah. Yep, cool. Green? Nope, not a green. Oh yeah, we were going to change one of our lands here because this is kind of rough. Oh, actually, let's Talisman into Leovold. How about that? So now if they want to Ashiok here, we get to draw a card. Plus, if we hit a land, we can just go uh, Questing Beast into Ashiok, which is pretty cool. Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on, green source. Oh, dear. Oh, it's all happening right now. Love it. Okay, that's a green source. Escape, sure. Wow, time walk is nice. <laughs> Seems good. Oh boy. It was a solid escape to the wilds. Sure. And we have a lot of action here. Like we can go Lily on a discard, Woodfall Primus, bring it back, kill Ashiok. What do they take? Animate dead? Sure. That's a good one. So what's our option now? Just questing beast into Ashiok? They still get warm coil if we do that. I mean, I guess it is Questing Beast. It kills this. I don't know how to deal with the stupid worm coil once we...
I mean, if they have a counter spell in hand, a third counter spell. Oh, they could also actually just block, I guess. You guys ever seen a block before? Wow, they didn't block. I would have 100% thrown Vendetta and click away and then ultimated Ashiok to make me discard my entire hand. I cannot think of a reason why they didn't do that. Sure, we gotta discard something. Um, pack rack can go. Okay. Wow. You got it. There's a necromancy when you need it. Dude, can I get an Ugin? Ugin off the top would be insane. Less so now. Dark Ritual is what we're looking for now. Oko. Hmm. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? I think we're a little too far behind. I think we know exactly why our opponent is fucking 2-0 right now. Because that's... Uh, that's a thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana, huh? Yep, I'm just going to go to the next game. Take out one island for a forest for sure. So, would Immortal Sun be decent against them? We just saw Ashiok, though. Filter deck is good. Sure. I still think it's pretty weird they did an ultimate Ashiok there. prepare for either one of these be prepared we can only hope they play something stupid and don't keep up remand slash i guess they can't keep up counter spell at this point but don't keep up remand they didn't oh got the damage in there this is where they go liliana Oh, make you sacrifice your beast. Hmm. No play. Oh, I have a Liliana. We have a Hulk. Okay. You got it. This is great because it actually gives us something to do with our with our Liliana. And if they're trying to like do some Splinter Twin nonsense, that's nice to get rid of a Deceiver Exarch.
Okay. Okay. Get in there, you big beautiful beast. We're gonna kind of go all in on pack right here. We have way fewer cards. So if we want to correctly utilize Eulolian, I think we just have to start playing and discarding things. Because we make a pack right with something next turn, or this turn even, just get rid of Chupacabra if we have to. Like if they don't play anything like threatening, we can easily just play Chupacabra. Oh God, they're gonna time walk twice, wonderful. Cool. <sighs> Seems good. <laughs> oh, rat train is right, buddy. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> They really don't write bangers like that anymore. They don't write bangers like that anymore. Rally Zally. Sounds good. Okie dokie. All right, this is their second turn, so that's good. They can't really take any more turns. Sure. As long as you don't have a time vault in hand, <laughs> we're good to go. I have two cards. Sure. Snapcaster time walk. No, they're just activating Rally's Alley. Two cards, huh? Okie dokie. Hmm. That is a thing, isn't it? Let's see that petty theft. There it is. <laughs> Never fails. Ravenous Chupacabra. Oh, boy. Never don't have it. Sure.
I don't really have a reason not to block this. They have one card in hand. Well, of course, it's that. So they've drawn like the same six cards every game. That seems good. That's a very easy way to 3-0. Especially when those cards are Vendelian Click, Time Walk, Brazen Borrower. Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Preach. So, uh, might as well play the land, I guess, right? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right. Ashiok. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Target permanent, then untap another target permanent. Unfortunately, we can't do that. Oh, that's delicious. Oh man, I wish Raul was at one more, dude. That would have been so much better. I mean, we still have a 13 13 on the board, so they have to really top deck something here. Because even if they block with Brazen Borrower, it's still fine. Wow, they get one turn here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. So even if they go land, they're tapped out, right? Like, I cannot see a benefit to not blocking here. Sure. Okay. Well, that was a good draw. I mean, it literally gives you two more looks. Three more looks if they're both bad and you put them both on the bottom. Wow, this is actually kind of hilarious. Emrakul's been doing work this game. Uh, sure. So, my, my turn. They can play a second land, they can untap a land, that's two. So they can play Remand and that's it. Wow, that's great. Guess we're going game three. And they're really digging here. They get a second land play off of the Ral. I don't know if they play land this turn, actually. They might not have. No, they didn't, actually, because they're only card. So they can actually play Arid Mesa and Hinterland Harbor. And Mox and Untap. So they do get four, they get four mana, but again, that doesn't do anything. They can either cast Brazen Borrower, Glory Bringer. No, they can't even cast Glory Bringer. So pretty sure this game's over. They have no cards in hand. Yep, you got it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, that, well, that, we're, we're, not, we're not dead yet. I like Doomfall here. Wow, that Emrakul has been doing some serious work.
I'm just going to submit. Maybe Mortal Sun is worth putting in. I mean, we have some Planeswalkers, right? We have Oko and Liliana. And on eight, we have Ugin. Yeah, I agree with the slime targets, which is why, yeah, I think that's... And, but, like, they have Ral, they have Ashiok. Dude, Emrakul stealing turns has been crazy. Oh man, we're so again we're so close. Channel in the opening hand, but no way to really take advantage of it. I mean, I guess we can draw overgrown two more green source plus any of our big fat idiots, right? Also, our first opponent had Black Lotus. Second opponent has at least one Mox that they're going to play right now. No? Yes? Didn't play anything. Big Chupa Lupa. Sure. That's oh, they missed the land drop. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, a channel Emrakul could be great here. Give me that green source. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just going to Maelstrom Pulse deck. It seems pretty, pretty easy. Oh, actually, if we draw, let's draw a green. Just give me one green. I added an extra green. There's like 10 green sources in the deck. really seriously can't cast can't cast can't cast whatever that's really unfortunate <sighs> yep Oh boy. Wow, if that was a green, we can go channel Emrakul, steal their turn, Ral Zarek their, their themselves, basically. Right, shoot them, kill the Ral. Oh god. Got an island and a Kiora's follower, sure. This this green this fuck these fucking green sources have been killing me all ma all all draft. Pretty obnoxious. What did you do to anger the trees, buddy? I don't even know. Well, a time walk with one planeswalker and one card in hand is okay, I guess. Play that Brazy B. Oh man, this is just frustrating. Our mana base is good. We have like nine, we have 10 sources of green. We had nine. Cool. Yep, that's, that's, that'll do. Cause I just couldn't hit a green source. Yep. Cool. Oh, good times.
Yeah, I probably do need to put a green in <laughs> every time. I mean, we got Terminal Liliana here, which is actually pretty decent, but leaves us with significantly fewer cards, and I'd kind of rather just... Uh... I don't think that does much. I'd almost rather, like, ramp into, like, a five drop. Or a six drop. Oh, well, hmm, that's interesting. Again, no land, no second land, no third land. Um, one, two, three, four mana. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dark ritual him to Torok. So, I like Time Ball, but it feels a little too bust. I kind of agree. I feel like there's a lot of ways to untap it. All three matches, huh? Seems good. Literal nothing to play. Double black, double green, double black, one of each. My wife made me a pretty sweet scarf. <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful. That's actually awesome. Oh, we did it. Thank the thank the magic gods. At least we're not playing against counter spells here. So when they kill this, we do get to draw a card. And it didn't die. Hmm. Yeah, like there's Kyrus Follower, there's Deceiver Exarch, there's Ral Zarek who untaps permanence. There's also like Voltaic Key. There's actually a bunch of stuff in the cube that are actually um One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, I don't even want a Dark Ritual in the Liliana here because I'd rather just... If we hit a land, I'd rather just do it into Ugin and then negative two, which seems really strong against them. Three, four, five, six, seven. One man away from Ugin, so I can... I can... Oh, all right. Well, I guess it's not really an option. Yeah, we would have just ugin Oh, my God. So as I've as I've played it... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green sources. That seems like enough. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, double green, double black, deal. Keep it. Overgrown Tomb lets us cast him to Torok and channel. Living the dream. And now channel's actually decent with a worm coil. My middle name is not Tiberius. Because no one's middle name is Tiberius except for James T. Kirk. <laughs> that bee in the Easter basket is actually pretty adorable. Oh, good islands. Remember when I was like, well, at least I don't have to worry about them countering anything. I'm just kidding. I guess nothing is nothing is happening right now. Well, 
Well, this is nice. I'm easily discarding a Woodfall Primi if this resolves. It never resolves, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Amazing. <laughs> Good times. Oh, the old, the old opposition with no no creatures in play. A classic. Well, this is where they go. Green source deranged hermit. No, this is where they go. Something that makes five, siege gang commander. Mm, just one mole drifter. Okay, I'm about it. Tap that, tap that, tap that questing beast. Land. Tally. Choopy loop. Choopa loop, 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 loopy doop. They played no creature with opposition out. They ancestral recalled. So every person I've played against set power so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big worms. We could also just reanimate the Muldrifter, which is kind of a nice idea. But I don't feel like the teamer deck is going to have a great answer for our board unless they're just literally putting a bunch of creatures into play at once, which is an option. Well, let's see if they also have Time Walk, because usually when you spell Seeger after you've played Ancestor Recall, you're just going to go get your Time Walk. Okay. It's not super exciting, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's go get a green source because we're going to need that anyway. And I'd rather minimize the lands I draw. Triple green is where you want to be with this Woodfall premise. We tapping down Wormy Boy. Big Worm. Worm Malicious. Yeah. Buzz Buzz. No. All right, well. Oh, they're probably going to incinerate Chupacabra here. That, that would be my guess. They're just going to one. Two, three, four, five. I think we just him and play looter. You're counting this. Okay, so I guess we're dead. <sighs> sure. Give me fucking strength, dude. <laughs> oh boy. 
Really, don't tap my blue land there? Interesting. Cool. Never don't have it. Awesome. Lord, bear me strength. Oh, no, oh, Jim. Take out Kalidus and bring in Doomfall. No green sources. Absolutely. Oh, fucking Christ, come on. <sighs> Love it. Go to five. I guess we'll keep it. Ship an island. Ship a talisman. Oh boy. Still don't have two green sources for acidic slime. Dude, I don't know what's going on, but the shuffler is actually terrible. channel it was not a channel and this could be good incinerate yep <laughs> yeah, doom falls okay i guess Zealous Conscripts, Glenelendra, Deceiver Exarch, and Pestermite. Let's get rid of Glenelendra. Because we're, and take we're my clearly money. not going to stop the other nonsense. Am I doing this right? Eater of butts, you are. Appreciate it. Okay, well, you know your full hand now, I guess. Might as well play one of these idiots. We got 40 of them. You fool. Well. Couldn't have been a spell. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. No, oh, we still have the exact three cards because they're not playing Bloodstained Mire, which is kind of weird because it filters their deck. Oh well. Once you get that hot vax action, you come visit. It's going to be rough because uh, it's harder to buy two plane tickets to go to Seattle than one. And Katie's going to be just starting her residency. But obviously the there, I mean, obviously it's, it's a, it's a plan to come visit Seattle eventually, but I don't know. I don't know how soon. <sighs> Turns out when you mold a five and you draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands to four spells, it's a lot harder to win than you'd think. You know what? Yeah, 
If we negative five, Ugin goes to two, and it has actually a hard time killing to see Rexarp, unfortunately. We could also stay back, shoot the Pestermite. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four. Oh, we're just dead if we do that, aren't we? Yeah, because then they just tap down our acidic slime. So we actually have to negative five here. Sure, dude. I mean, no, they have Deceiver X Arc in hand, which is fine. It's going to take two hits. We can plus Ugin four. Draw an Oko. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not a great draw. Not great, Bob. So now the Deceiver X Arc mean a one. And if they just top deck or have Splinter Twin, we're just dead. So, yep, that should be fun. I'm going to assume they have it. They have two cards. They have two whole cards. It's got to be one of them, right? Going face. Like that. Okay, well, we're alive at one. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't even want to attack, but, like, we've already gotten rid of... Pestermite, Deceiver, Exarch, and Zealous Conscripts. So, like... So they go to 11. No, I'm not going to attack here. Okay, well, they didn't do anything. I'm just worried about, like, a Haste Creature or, like, an Inferno Titan or something. Okay. Okay. Both of these are fine. Oh, they have no cards in hand? Wow, that was actually very good. Okay, we're living the dream right now. Kill... Does it matter? Let's kill this guy. Pulse this guy. Now we're going to attack because we have Baleful Strix. And next turn we can just play Worm Coil. All right. Two turns. Just give me two draws. <sighs> Come on. Two draws, two draws, two draws, two draws. Okay, they get to draw one. Sure. <laughs> that seems okay. I'm only going to attack with one if they have like a way to steal Worm Coil on attack. I don't want to die. Although they could steal Baleful Strix and still kill us, I guess. So, okay, they have two guards. There we go. The literal turn before we get to attack with Worm Coil. Okay, they didn't... They're just going to get a burn spell.
Wow. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. That was an amazing series of games. Uh, oh, man. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to subscribe or follow on twitch.tv slash franklapore. It's a great way to support the channel. You guys are wonderful. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Have a good night.